<laughs> no, mine's here is so good though. No, I don't want to play Psychic Link. All right, let's see the chat. The 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 third rework of Shadow in Dragonflight. <laughs> third, fourth. I cannot keep track anymore, my man. Greetings! <laughs> I don't like how this is going. We have several changes coming to Shadow Priest Sounds and Embers of Notharian that are aimed at addressing spec issues and adding new talent options. Listen, Shadow's, Shadow's doing... Shadow has issues, but, but it's, it's fine, all right. Button Bloat. Shadow has more rotational abilities than most other specializations. We're working to reduce this by having Mind Spike replace Mind Flay and removing Mind... Oh my god, they're removing Minds here again? <laughs> Oh, come on. But the Mind Spike replacing Mind Flay is something that uh, I think Public mentioned when they first added Mind Spike. And it, depending on how that's done, I do agree because it's still it's just a lot of Mind Spike for me just sits on my bars with a proc 90% of the time. So it's just weird. I, I kind of agree with that, but it, it, the implementation also matters. Mine's here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm bracing myself. I'm bra I know you can read it on the screen right now. I haven't read it yet, but I'm bracing myself. We feel Mine's here as a spender was a worthy experiment in Dragonflight. Yes, it's good. But the gameplay has not been as smooth as we envisioned. No, we are removing the spell and focusing Shadow's A weekend for the on second link. No! <laughs> no, Mind's here is so good though. No, I don't want to play Psychic Link. That's good, but that's so boring. Having a finisher is so much more rewarding. So that means that we just dump everything into, into Devouring Plague. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm getting too excited. Flooded rotation. There are times in the rotation where several spare spells are competing to be cast due to proc frequency and overall insanity generation. Yes, we are adjusting some proc and the insanity generation of several times for a clearer rotational flow. This is a very complicated thing that, that they can change that I don't know if I can judge by just reading dev notes. So this is something that needs to be tested. Lack of distinct builds. What? What do you mean? With updates to existing talents and some new talents, we aim for more build-defining choices such as investing in cooldowns, damage over time effects, critical damage, or shadowy apparitions. Okay, well I kind of figured that the idle capstones kind of defined builds, but maybe that's not what they're looking for. Okay, I guess we'll have to see how that plays out. So they, they aim for investing in cooldowns, damage over time effects, critical damage, or shadowy apparitions. It wasn't shadowy apparitions kind of tied to critical damage in the oh, critical procs in the past, I believe. But that's kind of changed now. PvP. I'm not going to read the PvP section. I'm not particularly interested in PvP. Mines here. Dark Void. Coalescing Shadow. Oh, oh my god, are these... There, whoa, Mind Seer, Dark Void, Coalescing Shadows, Puppet Master, Harness Shadows, Pain of Death, Surge of Darkness, and Damnation have been removed. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight talents. Jesus, Shadow Priests, when are you going to be a consistent spec? Shadowy Insight no longer passively grants additional charge of Mind Blast. Shadowy Insight no longer temporarily increases the maximum charge of Mind Blast when it triggers. Psychic Link now affects Devouring Plague and Shadow Word Death. Wait, it did not? I could have sworn it did. I guess it didn't. Well, it has to. It has to affect Devouring Plague because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. No, it didn't. I don't know why I thought it did. It's fine. Yeah, but it, it wouldn't it wouldn't work to remove mines here if Psychic Link didn't do that. But I feel like this. I feel like this. This. This is not gonna last. A Psychic Link is now a one point talent has been moved to mines here's location. So uh, this is so silly. Psychic Link has been rewarded. You're damaging single target spells. Deal forty percent of their damage to so all other targets affected by vampiric touch within forty yards. This does not apply to damage from shadow or pain of vampiric touch. The thing, like, I'm not reading the rest of it yet, but the thing with this is this mandatory requires you to have vampiric touch on everything. This means that mandatorily, that's not a word, you need shadow crush with misery. Which is probably why Dark Void has been released, because nobody plays Dark Void. This means that you'll never not need a tool to, to put mass, uh, mass vampiric touches in on, on everything. And you're never gonna individually cast Shadow Word Pain. So this, this locks them in into this design, which is so weird and so restrictive that he... 
Uh, we're probably gonna get to, to, to the other stuff that just narrows down your options. Or just makes two dots be weird, because you're never not gonna have both dots. You're never... I don't, I don't know if they're ever gonna make a priest design where you're going to press Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word, sep Shadow Word Pain separately. Which means why even have two dots if you're gonna use the one button to apply both of them always? I... I'm not a fan. Auspicious Spirits now cause the Shadowy Apparitions to have a chance to generate two insanity instead of always generating one insanity. <laughs> More RNG, let's go RNG, love it. Maddening Touch now increases the damage of Empiric Touch by 10, 20% and has a chance to generate one, two insanity. More RNG, let's go. Void Turn generates 24 insanity over the duration was 60. So I, I'm guessing they're focusing, they're redirecting insanity generation from one area to another. Okay, that's not too bad. Shadow Crash generates 6 insanity, was 15. Fair, Shadow Crash no longer applies. <laughs> Vampiric Touch, okay. Shadow Crash doesn't apply, Vampiric Touch. Mind Devourer now has a 48% chance to grant a free cast of Devouring Plague. Was to, oh my god, they're lowering it. Mind Devourer now increases the damage of your next Devouring Plague. Okay, that's, okay, that, I guess that's fair. Mind Melt no longer reduces the cast of Mind Blast. Mind Melt is now a two-point talent. Mind Melt increases the critical strike chance of Mind Blast by 10-20%, was 25, stacking up to four times, was two. So that means you can get up to 80% crit chance on Mind Blast as opposed to 50. Uh, all right. Idol of Cthulhu can now trigger from Mind Spike and Void Torrent damage. Ooh, that's, that's good for Void Torrent. Obviously, that would have to trigger from Mind Spike if Mind Spike replaces... Mind Flay. I love Cthulhu now spawns a Void last year if there are more than two targets nearby and otherwise spa spawns a Void Tendril. Doesn't that mean that Vital of Cthulhu will probably be mandatory in all builds? Because right now Idol of Cthulhu is kind of a single target niche where you sometimes take it in M+, uh, because it gives you a little bit more priority damage. Idol of Cthulhu Mind Flay damage reduced by 20%. Idol of Cthulhu Mind your damage increased by 75%. Wow, okay, this is... Void Tendril and Void Lasher from Idol of Cthulhu generate 50 insanity over their duration was 30, so they nerfed it. Mind Seer from Idol of Cthulhu now deals reduced damage beyond 5 targets. Ugh. Oh, Alright. Ah, oh, with the AoE caps! The cast speed of Mind Seer from Idol of Cthulhu no longer scales with haste. Alright. Mind Flay and Mind Seer from Idol of Cthulhu echoing Void from Idol of Nazoth and Void Torn now have 5% damage variants. Wait, does this mean RNG? Like Warlock Mastery? Oh, n well, I mean, it makes sense for an insane spec, but uh... okay, I don't mind the RNG as much. It's just silly on top of everything. Mind Spike now replaces Mind Flay. Mind Spike damage increased by 15%. Mind Flay Insanity has been renamed to Surge of Insanity. Surge of Insanity generates 12 Insanity over its duration was 16. Surge of Insanity now empowers your next Mind Flay or Mind Spike. Oof, wow, this is a heavy talent. Surge of Insanity now lasts 15 seconds. Was 10 seconds the buff to be consumed, I guess. Surge of Insanity can now accumulate to... Okay, that's good. It can accumulate to charges. Mind Flay Insanity and Mind Spike Insanity have been added to the personal resource display. Oof, all right. So it's a lot of, a lot, a lot of shadow stuff. Screams of the Void has been redesigned. Devouring Play causes your Shadow Ward pain and Vampiric Touch to deal damage 40-80% faster for 3 seconds. While channeling Mind Flare of Void Torrent, your Vampiric Touch and uh, Ward of Pain on a permanent attack deal damage 40% faster. It still does the same thing, no? Devouring Plague is just that it's been renamed just to, to, to compensate the... F okay, so there's no longer Mind Flay, but it's Devouring Plague. And since Mind here isn't there anymore, it also makes sense, Devouring Plague. Mental Decay now also increases the duration of Shadow War Pain and Vampiric Touch by 2 seconds when Mind Spike is cast. It has... Wait, does this mean that it will also increase the duration while Devarium Plague is cast? Because it used to work off of Mind Seer. The duration of your Shadow War Pain and Vampiric Touch is increased by 1 second when enemies suffer Mind Flare or Mind Seer damage. This is bad. This is designed to work on a channel. So it just extends by two seconds per Mind Spike cast? I'm assuming they're keeping the same Mind Spike cast. And Surge of Darkness, they used to make it instant, doesn't do that anymore. So you never, so you don't have instant Mind Spikes anymore, you have to hard cast them. So it's one extension per two seconds, instead of two extensions per two seconds, because Mind Flay used to 
Mine's here used to do damage every second, no? Oh my god, this is... This has to be made so when it when Dev Plague deals damage too. On the main target at the very least. Otherwise, this is horrible. This is a big nerf. What, what, but they still... They took away Vamp Touch from Shadow Crush. What are they doing with that? Dark Evangelism can also be triggered by Mind Spike. Insidious Ire now also affects Void Torrent damage. While you have Shadow War Pain, Devouring Plague, Vamp Touch active on the same target, your Mind Blast deals more damage, and now your Dev Plague will deal more damage. Oh, Void Torrent, not Dev Plague, Void Torrent. Okay, that's, that's, that's a good one. Thought Harvester, Mind Blast gains an additional charge. We've had this before. It's just weird renames. Uh, Whispering Shadow. Shadow Crash generates an additional 6 insanity and applies... Oh, come on! We need 2 points now? Uh, why? Because we lost... Do we still have Misery? Because... They're they removing Dark Void, but did they say anything about Misery? No. Oh, God. Does this mean that in order to apply Vamp Touch and, and Shadow Word Pain in the AoE, you need 3 talents now? Shadow Crash generates an additional 6 insanity and applies Vamp Touch to update targeted damages. New talent Void Touch increases your Death Plague damage by 6%, increases your maximum insanity by 50. Ah, oh, this is such a such a boring talent. Man, this is such a boring talent. It's just more damage and max insanity. Ah. Oh man, I feel like the, the tree is ruined now. <laughs> New talent mastermind increases. Shadow has done so well without having these boring ass talents so far. Why do we go from good to, uh, to bad? Mastermind. Increase the critical strike chance of Mind Blast, Mind Flay, and Mind Spike by increasing critical. Oh. Because oh, they want crit damage playstyle? Oh my god, I praise Shadow for having some of the most interesting talents with their effects. There was like no boring talent. Now we're just getting rid of the interesting talents and just adding the bland boring talents. Shadow, it was about time to have bland flat increases in damage. There you go. Ugh. Oh my god, no. Phantasm Pathogen. Shadow Apparitions deal... 75, 150% increased damage to targets affected by your Devouring Plague. This means just your first target, right? This doesn't apply to Psychic Link. Psychic Link doesn't make targets assume that they're affected by Death Plague. So this is just single target cleave at most. If you're gonna pull... If you're gonna pull Insanity and Death Plague to target. New Talent Mind's Eye. Reduce the Insanity cost of Death Plague... Oh god, so boring! Throws of Pain generates 1 insanity per rank, was 3 and 5. Oh, Ancient Madness is now 1 point talent. Dark Ascension of Void Rapture should now properly override the other. Okay. Several nodes and talent should have changed position. Updated the Shadow Priest are built. Oh god, this is so horrible. Oh no! No! They ruined the Shadow Priest! Oh, and I loved it so much! Oh, I hope it doesn't go live. Why? Why get rid of all the interesting things about Shadow and just put bland stuff and we're gonna make it better? Oh man, I'm so salty. Oh, and I was considering playing Shadow more as a potential main. This is horrible. Uh, I hope this doesn't go live. Jesus. I've been loving it then, I still love it now. Still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. Getting better every day, let me show you how. Cause still, I play wow. Still, I play wow. It's getting harder to stay, but at the end of the day, it's a guilty pleasure, so just log in and play. Whether it's classical retail, I'ma do a slash bow. Still, I play wow.